Hello, I'm Nevis and I'm going to show you how to make your very own plotagon for use in online live classes in a step-by-step -step guide of easy to follow steps. The first thing you need to do is to go to the plotagon website. You need to download the app that is suitable for your system, create a login access and an account. It's free by the way. You can watch you can also watch their tutorials which are quite handy. Once you double click on the icon on your desktop, the window will open with a large icon and then slowly you will see a window with a welcome to Plotagon. At this point, if you haven't created a login, then click on I'm new. If you have, then uh, if you have registered your account, then you just click on I have an account. And remember, it is free. So what we need to do is to log on with your if you've used your lo your Facebook to log on you can do that or use an email like I have and log on remember though that whatever you um, if you want to upload to YouTube then it is best to remember to use the same account that you use for YouTube it'll make life a lot easier So when I've logged in, this is what my home page looks like. In my case, it will show my uh, home, this is the home page, my account, and this is one of my plotagons. And you'll be able to see also the statistics of the views and likes. Let's begin creating. First, you'll need to buy characters and scenes. Many are free, so you won't need to pay anything to begin creating your first story. It's best to download all the free ones so that you have a bank of items to start off with. All the plotagons use one scene and two characters. You can, of course, uh, get creative later on, but leave that until you become an adept at using Plotagon. Before you begin, you need to have an idea of what you want to talk about in your story. So it's best to start with a draft. Before we do that, um, this is just to show you what I meant by going to the store and buying your freebies or your paid ones. There will be featured items, characters and scenes. Some will be free and some you will have to purchase but they're not very expensive so but you can leave that as I said for later on because there's enough to use with the free ones. So we need to begin with an idea. We need to create a story We're going to need two characters, one scene, and now create a mini dialogue and a notepad page, a Word document, or whatever. Um, when you're happy with your dialogue, and it doesn't have to be very long, you can move on to putting it into action. Here's my mini dialogue that I created. As you'll see, I've used Tom and Nevis just to keep in line with what I've done up until now. So now that you have a mini dialogue ready, you will need to add it to the Plotagon scene you've chosen. Then you will need to think of the emotions. You will need to give your characters also the actions, if any, that you may want your characters to carry out in the course of the dialogue. Let's go there now. And here we are. So once you click on create, click on new plot, 
and this is what will open up a very blank screen where you can add scene, dialogue, action, sound or music and this is what will you will start to begin where you will begin to see your characters in action. So first, add a scene, because that's the first thing you need to do. The location, I've chosen the library. And as you can see, it immediately tells me I only have two characters to use. So character is somewhere, character is somewhere. So I have to put in the two characters here. And the next thing they will ask me is to choose my characters. So I chose these two characters from my bank of characters. Uh, the girl is Jessica and the, the male character is uh, Steve. But as you'll notice, I've given my dialogue, I've given the characters the names Nevis and Tom. So I'm going to stick with those names and I'll show you how easy it is for my characters to take on their new names. Um, so I have to, I've chosen Steve and Jessica. I've said Steve is close to the door and Jessica I've put her um, near the bookshelves. Okay, further away near the bookshelves. So in this case I have three solutions of where I can move my uh, characters and they can only have one each. I can't have them both in exactly the same spot. So next is the dialogue. When I click on the dialogue, I get this little mini, mini, mini section of a dialogue and it'll have um, the, the character, which I've put in this, in this case, I've chosen Steve to speak first and I've made him happy. And then I've, all I've done here then, it, it says write dialogue. What I did do was I went and actually copied and pasted the dialogue from my draft that I prepared before. This is the draft here and you'll see I've written Hi Nevis, did you? And it's exactly what I've written here and then I've chosen Jessica Happy as well and here's Jessica. All along I can press play button and actually hear them and see if they're speaking correctly or if, this, if it's what I want them to say. So as I go along the characters will actually be moving as I create the scenes, uh, the dialogue, sorry, for them. So continue filling in your dialogue. As I said before you can press play at any moment. I've used phonetics, special phonetics to make sure that the sound is correct. So my name for example is Nevis and it's spelt N-I-V-E-S the TTS robot will pronounce it as knives. So in order for the TTS robot to sound similar to my real name, I've pronounced, I've actually given it a phonetic or I've spelt it in a way that the robot can understand it. K-N-E-E-V space E-S. Spaces and commas help to create the natural sound for phonetics and words. Finish off by adding, adding any final touches like um, music, other actions, music, music, sorry, or sounds like doors opening and closing. Um, you can use the text to show up when they're speaking here and give you more of an idea of how your dialogue is coming along. So it's all done now. You can get ready to publish your first Plotagon. Just click on publish and share. Let's go and have a look at this very... So I've called Tom and Nevis back to teaching online after the holidays. Let's go and have a look at the Plotagon. It's already on YouTube as you can see. It's only a minute and one second. So let's go and listen to it quickly. Hi, Nevis. Did you have a good holiday this Christmas season? Hey, Tom. 
Yes, I did. In fact, it was all about eating and now I need to jog every day to burn off excess calories. Oh, ha ha. Typical you women are always complaining about eating too much. Maybe. So, Tom, what about you? What did you do? Oh, it was beautiful weather every day, and my family and I spent most of it outdoors. That sounds lovely. Well, and off to work now. Bye, Tom. Yes, me too. It's back to work. Bye, Nuves. See you online live soon, Tom. Yes, see you online too. In Dr. Nelly's new course, Teaching with Technology on WizIQ. Yes, of course. Bye. Bye. There we go. So, it, that's the finished product. Hope you enjoyed it. Now, let's go for a quick recap of what we need to do. First thing you need to do is go to plotagon.com and download the desktop app. Register and create your account. Go to the Plotagon store and buy the free scenes if you want and characters. Begin with an idea, draft up a mini dialogue, create your Plotagon using the desktop app. Use phonetics to create natural sounds and commas to create natural spaces. Try not to use full stops. You'll understand why as you get used to using Plotagon. Publish and share. Congratulations, you now have made your first Plotagon. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any comments, please be sure to add them below this video tutorial or slide tutorial. Thank you. This is Nevis signing off. Till next time. Thank you for listening.